Optimizing fire and solution. Galactica has been reinstated to the head of BSG-75 under my command. We are, once again, one of many in the shield against the Cylon. Question is, what's got Lachesis so riled up it decides to swing low and target the God's damn air we breathe? Perhaps it sees no other option. Depopulation is a hell of a shortcut. There was a lot of other data on that hard drive. For instance, the frequency that was... The Kraken frequency. The frequency that was ringing in our ears. I came across a recording of it attached to an incomplete set of coordinates. If that's the bacteria Lachesis needs for its weapons, we have to intervene before they harvest enough for mass production. Agreed. Have fire control adjust for a new primary target. Sir, this is actual physical evidence of the Cobalt Exodus the origin point of humanity. We can't destroy it. That is exactly what we're doing. The situation here remains untenable, and this ship clearly hosts a resource the Cylons intend to use to murder billions of people. We end this now. Lachesis, your life is no longer yours to throw away. Come to me. Ours will be as God wants it to be. Atropos, I by your command. Once you look behind the curtain, you realize there isn't much to celebrate. Lachesis was a destructive force, but it was also a known factor. This third IL disrupts everything we've known about the war for the last five years. Our one consolation? The new arrival is as much an upheaval for Cylon Command as it is for us. We suspected their hierarchy was unstable, but the intel leak cemented the theory. For what it's worth, I don't believe Clothos leaked those recordings to us. As much as those ILs bickered, 
It'd take a lot more than a couple of arguments about God to force a betrayal like that. So for now, we continue what we're already doing. Keep Galactica in the air. Beat back the Cylons one battle at a time. Keep our people back home safe. Whoever's leaking that intel, they'll show their face. Eventually.